In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use an RGB LED with Arduino to create any color you want. So first, we will build the circuit step by step with all the components we need. And then I will show you the code to power on the RGB LED and choose different colors. And let's start with the circuit. So here we have the Arduino board. I have an Arduino Uno, but any board will do. Make sure this is, of course, disconnected and powered off. You will need four different wires, okay? At least try to have a black wire and then three other wires. You will need three resistors, okay, with 220 ohm value. So try to get those three resistors here. And then, of course, so the, the breadboard and the RGB LED. And this is important. So you have to check first here. You will see that you have four legs, okay? And one of them is bigger than the three other ones, okay? As you can see here, the second on the left uh, for me here with this position. And this leg, actually, so you can have two types of RGB LEDs. The type which correspond to the cathode, okay, so if this is cathode RGB, this leg is going to be connected to the ground of your Arduino board. If this is not a cathode but an anode uh, LED, this longer leg will be connected to 5 volt of your Arduino. Okay, how to know which is which? Well, you can't tell from the uh, hardware directly. So what you need to find is either you have a manual or a reference or maybe when you bought the uh, RGB LED, if you can find any information in the papers or in the descriptions uh, of the RGB LED. If you can't find that, well, you will have to try first connect to the ground. If it doesn't work later with the program, you connect this to 5 volt. OK, so let's start. I take my breadboard. And I'm going to connect each leg to a different, uh, a different hole in the breadboard. So let's make some space, okay, between them. Okay, like this. So make sure it's correctly connected. All right. Okay, each leg is connected to a different line. Very important. The first thing I'm going to do now is to here. This second on the left is actually the longer uh, leg. So I'm going to connect that to a ground pin of the Arduino. So GND, okay, choose a GND, whatever GND you want, okay, it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to take the three resistors and I'm going to connect each leg, so like this, each leg to a different line here, so I connect all three resistors. Okay, that one here. Okay, so just connect to three different lines. Make sure, it's very important, that the resistors don't touch uh, each other here, okay? The wires don't touch each other. Okay, and once you have that, you can now put different wires so i'm going to use here so the first on the left here will be the red one okay so i'm going to put a wire so i'm going to use the same color as the uh, leds okay as the color but it, it doesn't really matter you can use any wire you want here it's just for the purpose of this tutorial and for the red i'm not going to use red because usually red is uh, reserved for power supply so i'm going to use orange instead and I'm going to connect this to digital pin number 11 here, okay, of the Arduino Uno. 11 digital pin to the resistor, and then the other leg of the resistor is connected to the leg of the LED. Then I'm going to take a green wire, connect the other LED, so connect the other uh, resistor here to digital pin 10 and then a blue wire digital pin 9 okay so basically this is the kind of the same setup as if you had three different leds okay and you will see in the code that's almost the same thing so for each uh, leg you have one 220 ohm resistor connected to a different uh, line here 
and then a wire connected to three digital pins. All right, so this is finished and now you can connect the Arduino to your computer. And now back to the Arduino IDE, let's actually write the code to power on the RGB LED and choose which color we want. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create some define, okay, for the different uh, colors. So basically an RGB LED is just like you are going to control three different LEDs, okay, in the code, that's exactly what you are going to do. So let's create a define and let's name it RGB red uh, pin. And this was on pin number 11. So just put the pin you have put, of course, uh, on your real circuit. Then define RGB. I have green pin, which was on pin 10 for me, and define RGB um, blue pin on pin number 9. So in the setup, I am going to do pin mode RGB LE, uh, red pin to uh, output, okay? So I'm going to put the mode for the three pins to output, green and blue. All right, so that's it for the setup. And now, well, I just need to write, so use digital writes, okay, to power on one LED or just basically to uh, power on one color of the RGB LED. That's what I'm going to do here. Digital, let's make a very simple blink uh, example. Digital write, so I'm going to start with the red, with high, and then I'm going to do delay, let's see, one second. So I'm using delay here just to make the program uh, very simple. And then digital write, RGB, green, pin to high, but if I want, so here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to power on the red and then green and then blue color, okay? Just the three basic colors. So if I do uh, power on the red color here and then the green one, the thing is that I'm also going to need to do digital right, the green to low and digital right with the blue. Okay, to low, and then I will need to also do this here to power off the red, okay, because if I keep the red and then I put the green, well, we are going to have a mix of the red and the green. And for now, I just want red and then green and then blue. So I'm going to do that here and then delay one second and then just copy this once more so we power off red we power off a green we power on the blue uh, color okay so just red just green and then just uh, blue let's not forget the delay here okay so just like we had three leds basically now i'm going to so make sure this compiles, save it as RGB uh, LED. And so tools, board and port are correct. I'm going to upload now to the Arduino board and let's see what happens. Red, green, blue, red, green, blue, etc. So we have a blink LED with three different colors on just one LED, great. So now you understand that, well, the way to control the RGB LED is exactly the same as if you control three different LEDs in your code. Okay, so that's really not difficult. I'm going to remove all that now, and I'm see, uh, actually, I'm just going to remove that and put this, I'm just going to put one color, okay, so I'm not going to use the void loop. I'm just going to initialize uh, the mode for the pins and then just select one color so i have the red color and i'm going also to put the blue color and let's see what happens so red yes green no blue yes i'm going to upload that to the arduino and you can see now that the led is with the color purple why is that simply because purple is the combination is the mix between red 
and blue. All right, so what you can do, you can try different combinations. So you already have first only red or only green or only blue. And then you can try red and green or red and blue or green and blue. And finally, the three together. So basically, you can create seven different colors with digital right. But is that it? Can you just create seven colors? No, actually, you can create almost an infinite number of colors. And for that, you will need to use a different function than digital right. You will need to use analog right. OK, so with analog right, you can choose the voltage basically uh, for the pin. And you can choose the voltage. So you, you will have to provide a number between 0 and 255. So you have 256 different values, which are going then to produce a voltage between 0 and uh, 5 volt here for the Arduino Uno. So basically, you have 256 value for red, okay, 256 for green, and 256 for blue. So you can create many different colors. And now one important thing is that if you want to use analog right, you need to make sure that the three legs for the uh, LED are connected to pins where the PWM function is enabled. And that's why I have chosen actually the pin number 11, 10 and 9. You can see the tilde here uh, next to the number of the pin. This is because the pin accepts PWM function. OK, so if you have a different Arduino board, Make sure that you find those PWM functions if those are available. So now I'm going to change that. I am going to so remove this. I am going to write analog right. So with the red frog first. And I can put a value between 0 and 255. I'm going to put 100. And then analog right with green. OK, I'm going to put, let's say, 200 and analog right with blue. Here I'm going to put 50. OK, so this is just one combination you can choose amongst all of the combination between 0 and 255 for each color. I'm going to run that. And well, now I have a quite unique color that I couldn't do with just digital right. OK, I actually don't know the name of that color, but well, that's basically the color with 100 for red, 200 for green and 50 for blue. And now you can experiment on your own and try different values okay, to see the colors that you can find. You can also just find on the Internet, you can just find RGB colors. OK, to find all the colors you want and then find the code you need. So the number you need for green, red and uh, blue here. And if you want to go further, for example, you can create a program here to make uh, the different colors fade in and fade out. OK, so you can have a nice change of color with time for the RGB LED. What you can do to improve the code is you can create a function actually that is going to do just this. OK, so the function will take three parameters, red, green and blue. OK, so you can avoid writing analog write three times whenever you want to change the color for the LED. And then, well, as an improvement, you can also use sensors like potentiometer to tune the color of the LED or even like, for example, listen to music and create cool light effects okay, with the RGB LED. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. All right. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.